Okay, guys, welcome back. So huge treat for us to be joined by Mr. Dave Neville. Good nice to see you, buddy. Pal. Yeah, 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 you too. Thanks for having us. So we're going to run through the whole line here with yeah. you. Um, we've done a little bit of, of you know, shallow dive into the technology. We've done a little testing with the drivers. Yep. The Fairy Woods at Demo Day, which yeah, was great. Yeah, But this is this is going to be a little bit more of a technical dive yeah. because you know it's. It's good for us to be with someone like yourself who's so involved in the process who can really tell the story is better than anyone. Right. So I'd love to hear kind of what went into Maverick, what did you guys learn through the another edition of, of AI yeah. using a supercomputer? How did this come to pass? Yeah, so Maverick's all about unconventional thinking and the big story here is all about AI and yeah. artificial intelligence. So we talked about last year with Flash Face, yeah. our first face ever using artificial intelligence. We only had that in the driver, you know, and, and the face that we had it in the standard model was the one that went in the sub-zero. Yes. Just over the past year, we've more than doubled our investment in AI. So not only do we have unique faces in each of the driver models, each of the fairway wood models, each of the lofts of each of the yeah. fairway wood models, each of the iron models, each of the lofts of the irons and the hybrids as well. Yeah. Something like 42 different AI faces from where we were last year That's with nice. one face. So just a massive, massive leap forward. And what we're seeing from the AI, it allows us to do prototyping so much faster and have so many more virtual prototypes than where we were to get dialed in. And when you have something come out like this face and it's totally unique and different ripples and bumps, it's something that that a human would have never come up with. Sure, there's no way you could come up with with that configuration. No. Where, where, where to thin out? Where to you know get more more uh, sort of contribution from the head in certain parts yeah. to spread ball speed That's gains really cool. and things like that. Sort of Phenomenal. got like an organic look to it, just based on the fact that it's not no straight edges, yeah. no kind of like. Yeah, and what we've been artificial. able to do differently this year, so last year with Flash, we worked on peak ball speed in the center of the face. Right. With, with Maverick, not just peak ball speed, but all across the face. Yeah. This idea of ball speed robustness, I know you guys have talked about yeah. it right. as well before. What we're getting is forgiveness from the face that we've never gotten before, through yeah. the ball speed robustness, but also through spin rate robustness. So when you hit it out to the toe, you're not losing five, 600 yeah. RPM of spin. And that's what this Maverick standard driver is all about, just very consistent, very good robustness throughout. And by having more forgiveness from the face, that allows us to do have a shape here that we've never had before. You know, and I know <laughs> we've talked about, you talked shape, about it in your, in your yeah. video, but this yeah. cyclone arrow shape, we basically took the entire back part of the driver out because there's a lot of drag back there. Sure. Right. This, this is 60% less drag than where we are with Rogue. The head itself is a mile to a mile and a half faster than Rogue, just on the head. Not even talking about the face, just yeah. on, on the head. We've right. wanted to use this shape for a number of years, but we haven't been able to do it because the MOI was was dropping too much. Now when you get more of the forgiveness and robustness from the face, that allows us to do this shape that's, for the very first that's time. That's really cool. When we saw it, we took it out of the box, and we were kind of joking, like, is that a long drive head? Like, is that, remember we saw the it's three of them next to each other? Just, just the, the, the difference. Totally different, yeah. You, you, when you see sort of the, uh, the, the the crown around the back, the, the way yep. the uh, the detail runs there, we were able to say, look at the tilt of them all, yep. and, and the, the standard was 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 kind of much more, like you said, raised at the back and, and, and much different shape. And we saw the Max and the Sub Zero; they're all individual to themselves. There's not there's not a kind of progressive line, yep. if you like. There, it's just Very this is designed unique. to be its yeah. own unique product. So if you have, do we have the Max here? Okay, yes. so we have the Max. You want to hold this one up, and I hold. That standard, one, yeah, yeah. yeah, to the standard. I mean, totally, totally different Entirely shape. Different. This yeah. is sloped backwards and more the low and deep CG, kind of your traditional forgiveness yeah. shape. And when you put the, the heavy weight in the back here, you have the highest MOI driver, easiest to launch driver we've made. Um, but what we have with the Cyclone shape is we basically took that whole area off mm -hmm. and it just reduces the drag. It just makes the head very, very fast. Cool. Interesting. And we've seen, we've seen already some really quick ball speeds off of it, yep, Matty, but it's, really good. it's interesting to hear that there's contribution from the face and the from head. the aerodynamics. Yep, yep. So that's you know effectively going to boost that again, yeah, which yep. is awesome. So going to the fairway woods, reminded me a little bit when I was when I heard of uh, Flash coming into the fairway woods, like uh, when, when Jailbreak came out, it didn't exist in the first yeah. edition of the fairway woods, it was in the driver and then the engineering challenges that it was 
proposed to you guys, you were able to get it in a smaller package. Same now with Flashface. Yeah, so if you look kind of back through the different technological leaps, we first put the face cup in the X-Hot yeah. Fairway Woods. Mm -hmm. That's really what got us the number one in right. Fairway Woods. And then with Rogue, we put Jailbreak for the first time in the yes. Fairway Woods. You had that additional jump. Yeah. Now we have the AI face, the Flash face, mm -hmm. SS20 for the first time, and we're seeing that same type of same type of leap forward. So we had to use all new materials. So we have the Ford's mm -hmm. C300 Mar aging steel, so really a high strength steel. And you're going to have the ripples and bumps, but these faces are totally different from the driver as yeah. well. So they'll look and different on the back. They'll look this. they'll look different on the back. Each of the lofts is different, and each of the models is different because how you play a three wood and how you play a nine wood sure. is totally different. The player who's playing a seven wood, a heaven wood, a mm -hmm. nine wood, an eleven wood, and we have all all of those is using them almost as scoring clubs as yeah. coming into the green. Sure. A guy who's playing a three plus, it might be a tee club for so them, true. a second tee club, yeah. or they're trying to get home in two and a par mm -hmm. five. It's totally, totally different on how you use it. So point. we didn't take the spreadsheet and say, okay, here's the three wood and now make it a four, make it a five. Every single one is different and unique and has different parameters. And you just think about the engineering challenge just to build all those faces. Yeah. It, it, wow. It's a huge, huge yeah. undertaking. And, and that's where it makes so much sense to be running that, that through the different versions you're getting from the supercomputer yeah. uh, because it, it's probably not a, a possible task to run that many prototypes. You that know, many it, versions it, it, of faces. There's no chance. And, no. So typically, right. in the past, we've done five to seven prototypes. Yeah. Now you're talking about 15, 20, 30,000 prototypes in less time. Yeah. You know? So that's why we feel like we're on the vanguard of, of design. You know, you hear AI and it's a buzzword yep. all yeah. over the place with Google, with Amazon Alexa, with Tesla, with the, dri sure. the driverless cars. Right. But we're the first company that actually are making a manufactured product mm -hmm. using AI in sports and we think in anywhere in consumer. So yeah. it's, it's really a leap forward. So going into the woods, obviously yeah. the same sort of thing with it, with the hybrids, jailbreak, flash face as well. But I'm, I'm really curious to talk about the irons. Yes. Right. Yeah. We're trying to. We're, we're talking about a set. You know, whatever your set composition may be, five to gap wedge, four to wedge. The traditional way has been to basically design the set very similar every iron. Yep. Which might suit the wedge might more than it suits the forearm or it might suit you know the other way around. Mm. But it doesn't always transition well top to bottom. Yeah, we're doing something totally different. Every single face is unique and different. We're holding the two faces here between the two different models. L little hard to see, but when you yeah. feel it, you can feel where the ripples and yeah, the, and really the bumps can. are. So these are seven irons between the Pro yeah. and the Standard, and each of the loss has a different face as well. So what we, we did is we looked at the different priorities. So when you look at like a four iron, a five iron, three iron, it's all about ball speed and launch angles, sure. right? So we prioritize those. As you get into a nine iron, a pitching wedge, it's about spin rate yeah. and launch angle. Mm -hmm. Controlling, oh, okay. controlling the spin. So we put different parameters into the supercomputer. It's spitting out a different face. So once again, we're not taking a spreadsheet, making a seven iron, and say yeah. take that down to the three, take sure. that up to the pitching wedge. No, every single model is unique, and that's allowing us to cover more players and really maximize the different traits of each of the different irons. We were chatting earlier today in some of our, our meetings and podcasts about how far has equipment sort of got to go and all the rest of it, yeah. but. It almost seems like there's a breakthrough every now and again in technology like this yes. that gives us a whole new set of opportunities. Yeah. And it gives us you know, years of, of development on top of that. Yeah. And, and I'm looking at this and I'm hearing this, this and it's exactly this is what it reminds it. me it, of. It, it, it's opening a door, it's yeah. opening a window to another set of leap forward and people saying, well, where are you going next with AI? Well, think about the golf ball, think sure. about, think yeah, about wedges, you know, mm -hmm. think about other places to apply it yeah. and even getting better with what we can do with, with the irons, mm -hmm. you know? So last year at this time, we were constrained to only working on the driver yeah. and only working on the face of the driver. Now it's across the entire Maverick uh, family. So yeah. we do feel like it's a breakthrough. People say, well, somebody else just go out and buy a computer it's not that simple you right, know right, right. you don't just go out to, to Best Buy and say give me the supercomputer that designs golf clubs right yeah, yeah. actually the supercomputer doesn't play golf right yeah. so we we have to chain together multiple programs there's a ton of knowledge over time of, of how to program the supercomputer yeah. and but what it is allowing us to do we've never done before is we let it go and we let it learn through this machine learning and spit out something that we wouldn't otherwise come up with that's Absolutely. really amazing yeah so how has it been sort of with engineering team running this are they are they kind of just almost coming up with concepts plugging that in and seeing how, how different variations come out well yeah a couple of things people think oh they're gonna fire all the engineers now that they have the yeah, supercomputer yeah. but it doesn't it really doesn't it really doesn't There's work that way job for Alan no boys. yeah so uh, Alan's job is safe the team <laughs> the team is safe what he has said and when I've interviewed him is that it has pushed their team to do things in ways they've never done sure, before right. to really push the boundaries to challenge the way that they think so 
we would have never come up with a face sure. like this, yeah. you know? Yeah. And when this first got spit out, the engineer said, there's no chance that this thing is gonna work. It's just not gonna work. We put it in the driver, picking up ball speed, you know? Mm -hmm. Picking up spin rate robustness, and we're like, wow, it really does work. So it's really challenging our team to think differently, which is, which is great, yeah. you know? Yeah, no, it really is. So we have the, the Maverick Pro head there. Yep. We've got it in multiple pieces. Yep. Let, let's you know chat about how each of those pieces, what role they play in the construction of the iron. Yeah, so we talked about the face and the, and the, and the flash yep. face cup. So that's the, the AI face. The other thing that we've done is bring some of our best technologies from the Epic Forge iron. I know you've hit it and how, it. how oh, long okay. yeah, 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 that club is. But also a very expensive iron. And now we're bringing those technologies to kind of the core of the market with Maverick. So we have our, our tungsten energy core. And what that is, this is a piece of tungsten. It's wrapped in the TP. TPU, urethane, it then is going into the, the iron, and then we inject our urethane microspheres around right. it. So these are from different models. Right. Each one is different. It's just like we were talking about in the face. Every one has a different tungsten energy core because we want the center of gravity to be in different positions for each of each of the irons. And what this gives you is that really deep CG, which gives you the higher launch. Yeah. So we're, of course, accused of loft jacking uh, right. a lot. I know Everyone you guys is, right? have talked about that yeah. in, your, in your videos. We're trying to manage that, that is all <laughs> and, and but navigate it. Part of what that topic is all about, we now have center of gravities that are so low and so right. deep that if you don't strengthen the lofts, the ball is going to balloon on you. Yeah. You know, And yeah. what Doc always talks about is, hey, the, the static loft is just one measurement that is on the iron. Sure. You have to look at what launch angles you're getting, what yeah. spin rates are you yeah. getting, and what we want is a seven iron to fly like a seven iron, yeah. and a five iron to fly like a five iron, and if we're able to get that center of gravity deep enough, the launch is higher, we strengthen the loss, yeah. you get more ball speed, but it's still launching in that window. And the angle of descent, and the angle is, still descent steep is enough. very, very important the, to hold the greens. We get that you know? control, exactly. Yeah, and, so, and, and the balls have changed as well, you mm -hmm. know, so this whole concept, and you guys are fitters, but that a seven iron has to spin 7,000, and, yeah, you know, yeah. and I mean, yeah. it, it, it all depends. It depends on what ball, what kind of greens, what kind yes. of descent angles yeah, uh, you have. So we're looking um, at all of that. But what this tungsten energy core allows us to do is have that stronger loss and still have the launch angles that we want. Yeah, yeah and, and we're challenging people to go try it. You know, yeah. go, go see, take yeah. it in the course. And, and come and tell us if it doesn't improve your game. Yeah. You know, hitting that a little bit further, a club longer. And it's you know, still holding the greens. Absolutely, it will still hold the greens. You know, and, and obviously having the, the whole bag set composition put together with the right golf ball is a big part of that as yeah. well. You know, you'll probably find most people are going to benefit from gaining some distance. We think so. For absolutely. Sure. Awesome. Okay, the stuff looks amazing. We can't wait to get it back in the shop and test it. Yep. Thank you for your thanks time. For having me. Good. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. Yeah, okay, thanks guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you again soon.